Every step for Bill Trainer is a struggle, his muscles weakening from ALS. Devastating for a former scuba diver and skier. And with existing medications offering little hope, Bill now wants to help scientists change how ALS is treated as part of a world-first study. I said, whatever you have, whatever you need, I'm there. Whatever you need to do to me, I'm there. I'll do anything to help people cure this. This is a key, a made-in-Canada helmet that produces low-dose ultrasound. It passes through the skull and temporarily opens a protective membrane around the brain. That barrier usually stops medications from reaching brain tissue. This is a very exciting day for the ALS community because for the first time ever, we're creating this temporary therapeutic window where our interventions have a chance of really making a difference in this awful disease. The study begins with Bill getting an IV, a medication that reduces inflammation, often seen in ALS patients, but it doesn't naturally cross that brain barrier. Then doctors place him in the helmet. The ultrasound is activated, and doctors watch to see whether the medication flows to where it's needed. It's tailored to the patient, each location of the brain gets the right exposure. And that, there's no other device that can do that. Bill is the first of six ALS patients who are part of the study, as doctors watch to see if their brain inflammation lowers and their symptoms improve. This, uh, this Researchers at Toronto Sunnybrook Hospital are already working on the next focused ultrasound helmet that will be more portable, planning studies to see if it will help improve chemotherapy delivery for brain tumours and as a possible tool to treat Alzheimer's. There's a lot of excitement going on because there's lots of brilliant new approaches. To me, the most exciting one is the focused ultrasound because you're breaking the blood-brain barrier. Right there. And the first test on Bill was a success. In this area that is brighter, it's exactly the area that we disrupt the blood-brain barrier. Scans showed the ultrasound helmet opened the correct targets, those white spots, and the medication was now likely flowing in. And while researchers monitor the effects in the coming months, Bill Trainer says this study has given him new purpose. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.